before we talk about like a GPT-5 like model called that or called or not called that or what, what you'd expect from a GPT-5. I think we have a lot of other important things to release. In a stunning development, OpenAI has granted the US government early access to its next generation AI model, GPT-5. This unexpected move marks a significant shift in the landscape of artificial intelligence development and regulation. As the world grapples with the implications of increasingly powerful AI systems, OpenAI's decision to collaborate with federal authorities raises questions about the future of AI governance and the delicate balance between innovation and safety. The announcement came directly from OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who revealed the partnership with the US AI Safety Institute on social media platform X. This collaboration aims to push forward the science of AI evaluations, according to Altman. But what does this really mean for the future of AI? And why is OpenAI taking such a bold step? The rise of GPT-5, a game-changing AI. To understand the significance of this move, we need to look at the context surrounding it. OpenAI has been at the forefront of AI development, consistently pushing the boundaries of what's possible with language models. Their previous iteration, GPT-4, already demonstrated capabilities that amazed and concerned experts in equal measure. Now, with GPT-5 on the horizon, expectations are sky high. Altman himself has hinted that GPT-5 will make its predecessor seem mildly embarrassing by comparison. This statement alone has sent ripples through the tech community, sparking intense speculation about the potential capabilities of this new model. But with great power comes great responsibility, and OpenAI seems acutely aware of this fact. The decision to partner with the US AI Safety Institute isn't just about showcasing new technology. It's a strategic move that addresses growing concerns about AI safety and the need for robust evaluation methods. The Institute, established under the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, is tasked with developing guidelines for AI measurement and policy. By involving this federal body in the early stages of GPT-5's development, OpenAI is sending a clear message. They're taking safety seriously. But why now? The timing of this announcement is particularly intriguing when we consider recent events within OpenAI. Earlier this year, the company made headlines when it disbanded its super alignment team, a group dedicated to ensuring AI systems align with human intentions. This decision led to the departure of key figures like Jan Leike and Ilya Sutskever, who expressed concerns about the company's direction and resource allocation. These internal shakeups raised eyebrows in the AI community. Critics questioned whether OpenAI was prioritizing rapid development and commercialization over safety concerns. The partnership with the US AI Safety Institute could be seen as a direct response to these criticisms an attempt to reassure both the public and industry insiders that safety remains a top priority. Altman has publicly stated that at least 20% of OpenAI's computing resources are allocated to safety projects. This commitment is significant, but it also raises questions about the nature of these safety initiatives and how they'll be integrated into GPT-5's development. A new era of government AI collaboration. The collaboration with the U.S. government isn't entirely unprecedented in the AI world. Last year, OpenAI and DeepMind shared AI models with the U.K. government, indicating a growing trend of cooperation between AI developers and regulatory bodies. However, the scale and potential impact of GPT-5 make this latest partnership particularly noteworthy. With AI evolving at a breakneck pace, the need for robust security measures becomes increasingly critical. OpenAI's recent appointment of retired General Paul M. Nakasone to its board, tasked with overseeing security and governance efforts, underscores the company's recognition of this fact. Nakasone's background in cybersecurity brings valuable expertise to the table, but it also raises questions about the militarization of AI and the potential dual-use nature of these technologies. Ethical considerations in the age of advanced AI the implications of GPT-5's development extend far beyond the realm of technology. As AI systems become more sophisticated, their potential to reshape industries and society as a whole grows exponentially. From healthcare and education to finance and creative industries, the ripple effects of advanced language models are already being felt. But with these advancements come serious ethical considerations. 
How do we ensure that AI systems like GPT-5 are used responsibly? What safeguards need to be in place to prevent misuse or unintended consequences? These are questions that the partnership between OpenAI and the USAI Safety Institute will need to grapple with. The development of GPT-5 also raises important questions about the future of work and human creativity. As language models become increasingly capable, there are concerns about job displacement and the potential homogenization of creative output. How will society adapt to these changes, and what role will policymakers play in shaping this transition? OpenAI's decision to involve the U.S. government in the early stages of GPT-5's development could be seen as a preemptive move to address these concerns. By working closely with regulatory bodies, the company may be hoping to shape the narrative around AI governance and establish itself as a responsible actor in this space. Privacy concerns and government oversight. However, this collaboration also raises questions about data privacy and the potential for government overreach. How much access will federal authorities have to the inner workings of GPT-5 and what safeguards will be in place to protect user data these are issues that will likely be closely scrutinized in the coming months. The global implications of this partnership cannot be overstated. As the United States takes a more active role in AI development and regulation, how will other countries respond? Will we see a new era of AI nationalism with different nations racing to develop their own advanced language models? The geopolitical ramifications of AI development are becoming increasingly apparent and GPT-5 could be a flashpoint in this evolving landscape. It's also worth considering the potential impact on smaller AI companies and startups. As giants like OpenAI forge closer ties with government bodies, will this create barriers to entry for new players in the field? The AI industry is already dominated by a handful of large companies, and this trend could further consolidate their power. The ethical implications of GPT-5's development extend beyond issues of governance and regulation. As language models become more sophisticated, questions about AI consciousness and rights are likely to come to the forefront. While GPT-5 is not expected to achieve true sentience, its advanced capabilities may blur the lines between human and machine intelligence in ways that challenge our existing ethical frameworks. OpenAI's collaboration with the US AI Safety Institute also raises questions about the role of private companies in shaping public policy. As AI systems become increasingly integrated into critical infrastructure and decision-making processes, the influence of companies like OpenAI on government policy is likely to grow. This blurring of lines between the public and private sectors in AI development is a trend that warrants close attention. The potential applications of GPT-5 are vast and varied, from revolutionizing scientific research to transforming educational practices. The impact of this advanced language model could be felt across virtually every sector of society. However, with these opportunities come significant risks. The potential for GPT-5 to generate convincing misinformation or be used for malicious purposes is a concern that both OpenAI and government regulators will need to address. Looking ahead, the development of GPT-5 represents a critical juncture in the evolution of AI technology. The partnership between OpenAI and the U.S. government signals a new phase in the ongoing dialogue about AI safety and regulation. How this collaboration unfolds could set important precedents for the future of AI governance globally. The race to develop increasingly powerful AI systems shows no signs of slowing down. As companies like OpenAI push the boundaries of what's possible, the need for robust safety measures and ethical guidelines becomes ever more pressing. The involvement of government bodies in this process is likely to become more common as society grapples with the far-reaching implications of these technologies. But amidst all the excitement and concern surrounding GPT-5, it's important to remember that AI is ultimately a tool created by humans for humans. How we choose to develop and deploy these technologies will shape the future of our society in profound ways. The partnership between OpenAI and the USAI Safety Institute represents an acknowledgement of this responsibility and a step towards a more collaborative approach to AI development. With GPT-5 moving closer to reality, the eyes of the world will be watching. The success or failure of this bold experiment in AI governance could have far-reaching consequences for the future of technology and society as a whole. 
Whatever the outcome, one thing is clear. The era of AI is here, and we're all along for the ride. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.